Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Silas. I just watched this video by Turtling Monkey called News Women or Children Confirmed. He's had this premise and he's actually put some support for it. And I've noticed this. A lot of you may have noticed this. Some of the ways that women are treated. One of the things I particularly say is why is it always girl? Why is it so often girls' night, girls' night out, girls' this, girls' that, instead of just women? I, I had a video talking about this saying all women are worth it, where I was like, okay, yeah, we shouldn't have this kind of situation where it's, um, what's it called, where it's girlfriends and boyfriends. Why not have man friends or man partners, man man buddies or something, and, and woman buddies and things like that, because these are supposed to be adults. But this article right here, um, On Your Tango by Mary Jo Rapini, so this is sick. This is the sick reason female teachers prey on our children. And guess what it is? It's the fact of their children, okay? You probably know from that one. So they're just making the case that some of these females have infantilized themselves and then they go into schools and they go into colleges and then they're surrounded by younger men and then they get into a situation where they also think like, hey, I might actually be a kid too. And they go into this fantasy and they go into that situation where they think, they are a child and this is part of the infantilization of women that occurs in society that needs to stop i think people are starting to see this probably get a bookmark this article it's going to be links below to it you guys can read through it i think this is something good to share whichever side of the political spectrum you're on whether you're in the manosphere you're a MGTOW or you're a feminist or whatever i think this is a good article to kind of read and see because yes it does get into the situation where they actually do think they are in a situation where this is an equal relationship. Now, I don't know, that's not apologizing for the people who do it. They're still predators and they're still technically adults. They're still breaking the law and they should be held to the full letter of the law. But I think it's just a good thing kind of pointing out what's going on with that. Um, also, I was reading this article and then this kind of went here and the things they were talking about in here. And I was wondering, like, look, seven disgusting pro-rape shirts we, can, we can't believe actually exist. And this is my problem. I, I don't know my problem. I have this thing where I go with very... I'm very... Um, I, I worry about semantics a lot. So when somebody says up here, it says, um, if you like us, we'll love you. Like, what, what is love here? You don't really mean love. I know it's in caps or whatever. And you know, it's, it's this tongue-in-cheek thing. Like, does love mean any, the same thing anymore? Like Michael Jackson, bad video. He was like, who's bad? Like, what not? He didn't actually mean he was bad. So love doesn't necessarily mean love anymore. And it's kind of odd how it's in this article, or it's interesting that it's in this article, love being used that way, when the women that they're talking about think they're in some kind of love relationship when that's not a love relationship. Those women they're talking about, the females they're talking about, think they're children when not, they're not really children. Because we're not using words for what they mean. We're not letting people understand what things actually are. You don't love them. If someone likes you, you don't love them. No, this person's not going to love you. So they're kind of playing on that too. So when they kind of go on that, and then they have seven disgusting pro-rape shirts, not even going to click that link, because what? It says, eat, sleep, rape, repeat. So if he's saying here, if he's saying there, I like and you love us, does she actually mean like and love us? No. Does this guy actually mean go out there and rape? He's also just doing a plain word. So with this, horrible, stop. No. The other one, okay, like, love. It's still... It's, I know, one is rape, one is love. I get that. But it's a different use. It's just a whole thing of not using words for what they are. Um, I just saw some other articles here. 11 celebrities who survived sexual abuse. Um, it's talking about the sexual abuse thing and the celebrities thing. Matt Damon just got in some trouble. Matt Damon is a famous actor in the United States of America. And he was just pointing out what I pointed out in, um, in some videos before about how there's an equation of people saying somebody touches you on the butt and outright rape and both things and those things are being thrown into that me too movement and this just talks about how this is going to end up hurting women women are not going to be able to actually flirt with people that they want to flirt with they will be hired less there's going to be more general segregation because of things like this um some other articles here i was just kind of reading december Mark, zodiac sign that's zodiac signs another thing that happens with females more Zodiac signs make great moms ranked best worst. What would Zodiac sign have to do with that? I don't know. Um, Resources of Tom Cruise didn't see his daughter Siri. That sucks because Siri is awesome. <laughs> I remember that in a blog post way back in the day. But I'm just looking at the sort of article. This is the sort of material that's here. Jay-Z finally explained why he cheated on Beyonce. Now this thing, I might 
check that out. But I remember there was a time back when Jay Z was attacked in an elevator by Solange, which is Beyonce's younger sister. And uh, Beyonce was just standing there in the elevator a couple of feet away. The bodyguard was holding Solange back, and it was covered in an entirely different way. Now, there was rumors at that at the time that it was because Jay Z had cheated, and Jay Z has admitted that he has a kid outside. I don't know if it's outside of wedlock. I don't know if the kid was born while he was with Beyonce or whatnot. But anyway, this is an article. I just saw this. I was like, okay, this is a type of article here. This is a type of website here. Type of man you're not meant to be with. And you see some of these, like especially down here, the expert advising. I've seen this on male sites, male focus sites, divorcing a narcissist. Here's 12 mind games you need to know about. I've seen that on male sites. So that's one thing here. A lot of these things, different things are happening for the same reasons. Or the same things happen for different reasons. So, different things are happening for the same reasons where different... Okay, the same things are happening for different reasons. Different kind of websites. Female focus, your tango. There's ones in the manosphere talking about this. I mean, you do need to stop dating narcissists. And this is something I think people are realizing in, in their different ways. Um, might be interesting to compare and contrast one of these articles. I might actually use this article here. And then compare and contrast with an article from a, um, a man, a more man-focused site, male-focused site. Let me know if you want me to do something like that. I don't know. If anyone actually expresses a need for it, I might actually do it. But right now, it's just on the back burner. It has some other things I'm thinking of doing. But yeah, just wanted to share this. What do you guys think about this? Do you agree with the premise that some females have gotten into the situation where they are infantilized to the point where they are children and they behave like children? With children, you don't really expect them to be able to decide what they do. You understand they don't have the actual ability to be able to make certain decisions, so you, you don't hold them responsible at the same level. And you see this happening with women too. They say like, if a male and a female get drunk equally, the male has raped the female or has sexually assaulted the female because she was not in able, in able to consent. And then he's able to consent though. Or you have a situation where in the past, if somebody was... Uh, coerced into it, they're not able to consent, but the female is able to consent. I mean, the female wasn't able to consent because she didn't really know what she was saying, she didn't understand the situation, whereas when you're having males in that similar situation, if it's switched around, the female is older and the male is younger, it's not normally treated in that way, especially when it comes to teachers preying on um, the students. That's definitely something in society that's not treated in that similar way. So let me know what you guys think. Check out this article. I think it's worth a read. Is this something that you guys have thought of before? But yeah, uh, that's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Links below to uh, merchandise store. Talk to you guys later.